Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about the file reader class and specifically I'm going to be using the constructor that takes a string file name parameter. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website, javacjava.com, select begin, and scroll all the way down to the file reader class tutorial. Now the purpose of the file reader class is to simply read character based files. The file reader class implements auto closable so we can use the try with resources type exception handling. There are three overloaded constructors in the file reader class. This tutorial will only use the one that takes a single parameter string value representing the file name. Now regarding the other two constructors, I will revisit this class later once I've demonstrated the file and file descriptor classes. It is also interesting to note that the file reader class does not define or override any public methods. So it inherits all of its methods from its superclass input stream reader, which is just the previous tutorial that I did here. Now input stream reader is a subclass of reader, which is a subclass of object, and that describes the class hierarchy. Okay, let's go ahead and let's move the browser off screen here real quick there. We're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna make a file this time. But I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop. If you don't, you can create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, CMD next, and finish. It's just that easy. Let's go ahead and open that up. Type in, first thing you want to do is type in Java C, which is a Java compiler command. You should see all this stuff scroll by. However, if you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash, CD is short for change directory, backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory with the MD command called Java. I already have that folder, but if you don't, I'll go ahead and create it for you. Let's change directories to the Java folder. I'm going to make a directory here called FR, short for file reader. Change directories to FR. First, we're going to notepad example.txt. Okay? And it's just going to be a simple text file. We'll bring the browser back on the screen here. We'll highlight these five lines of text. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. Let's move that off screen. Let's come over here and let's just paste that in and save it and get rid of that. All right, now we want to um, notepad fr.java. fr.java is going to be the name of our source code file, also known as a compilation unit. And let's go ahead and bring this back over here. Really simple code today. This is building on my input stream reader class anyway, so there's not a whole lot to, if you haven't watched that one, you'll definitely want to watch that, uh, that one prior to this one because you'll be a little lost maybe, but uh, especially since it inherits everything from input stream reader. So let's go ahead and just save this. And what we've got, of course, we're um, importing the Java I.O. package, everything inside of there, class FR, main method entry point here. So we're doing a try, and this is the try with resources, as you know, but notice before the try uh, code block here, right? And, um, file reader throws I.O. exception, so we'll just catch I.O. exception here and just do a simple, um, we'll invoke the get message on the exception there. So. Now, um, inside of the try with resources here, we're, we're doing the basically file reader. We're creating a new reference variable fr, a file reader type, and setting that equal to a new file reader object, and we're passing in the example text that we just created there, right? So since this implements auto closable, doing the um, try with resources style right here will automatically call close when it's all done here. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, and this is just like, this is literally cut and pasted out of the input stream reader tutorial there. So, um, because we will inherit the read method from the input stream reader there, we're just gonna simply set, uh, you know, um, of course read returns back a single byte that represents an init primitive int value, right? And it has this ready function, or ready, I'm sorry, method here that returns back true as long as there's stuff in the input stream to keep on reading. Okay, so we'll just basically um, cast that int value letters to a char value, which will put the characters on the screen. 
And then we'll just keep looping through and keep reading everything in the input stream until it's all done. So uh, let's make sure this is safe. Let's run this very simple, simple program here. Java C to compile this. And run it. Okay, so there we go. First line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line of the text file. Okay, really it's just that simple. Now um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that, get rid of that, and just leave you guys with a quick final thought. So stay tuned to my next tutorial where I will wrap File Reader into a buffered reader and we will gain uh, basically even more functionality. And, and in that buffer reader class, I'm also going to wrap uh, input stream reader in there too as well. So. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.